very much welcome the Government bringing forward this Bill and uh, hope it gets good progress through this House. And particularly, I think, as she's emphasising, it will help suppliers. But I think it's very important to get across the point that it will also help consumers by ensuring a range of suppliers stay in the market and that there's variety and good security of supply. Uh, my honourable friend is absolutely right. And of course, the reason that we are bringing in the adjudicator is indeed because of the benefits it will have to consumers uh, to deal with potential issues of consumer detriment as were identified uh, in the Competition Commission's report. Um, our large, I will make a little progress and then I will happily give way to the honourable gentleman. Um, I do believe that our large supermarkets can actually be a very good thing for consumers, for employment and indeed for our economy. And in the vast majority of cases, they do treat their suppliers lawfully and fairly. But unfortunately, as the House will be aware, the Competition Commission's 2008 report into the supply of groceries showed that in some cases, large supermarkets were transferring excessive risks and costs to their suppliers. This included practices such as the retrospective varying of supply agreements to force suppliers to take on unexpected extra costs. And that's why the Groceries Supply Chain Practices Market Investigation Order came into force in 2010. The order contains the Groceries Supply Code of Practice and requires the 10 largest retailers, with an annual turnover of over £1 billion, to incorporate the code into all their supply agreements. And the code itself sets out a general principle that the retailers must treat their supplier suppliers lawfully and fairly as well as containing more specific requirements about how retailers should deal with their suppliers.